Hey, how's it going, everyone? It's no surprise that I don't really care about the MCU. I'm not a fan of the MCU in the way it is currently. I've been checked out of the MCU for years, way before Endgame. I'm, so I'm not invested in the MCU right now. So uh, I don't know. The formulaic nature of the MCU, all the cheesy jokes, they have a really cool scene going on, and then they need to throw in some cheesy joke out of nowhere for no reason and it just takes you out of it you know so um so yeah i've been i've been i've been i'm not invested in the mcu currently so i thought it'd be cool to give my opinion on loki <laughs> believe it or not i actually started watching loki when it first came out i watched the first episode back in what was it 2021 let me pull it up June 9th, 2021. I, I pretty sure, I'm pretty sure I didn't watch it as soon as it came out, but I watched it around, around that time. And I saw season one, episode one, Glorious Purpose, and it didn't grab my attention. It felt too much like the MCU, and I don't care about the MCU. You know, with the whole Infinity Stones and that drawer and all, I don't even honestly remember it because I watched it so long ago. And I felt like I've seen this genre before, done better elsewhere. So why am I going to watch it done in the MCU, which I don't really care about, and not done as well as other media. So I didn't feel any real reason to continue watching the show. Fast forward to a couple of weeks ago, 2023, uh, I decided to pick the show back up. I didn't continue from season from episode one, but I continued from episode two, and I watched it straight through. All the episodes, episode one, two, three, four, five, six, season two, all the way through, I liked it, dude. I liked it, man. It feels separate from the MCU in tone and the overall vibe. I feel like Owen Wilson being in the show makes it feel separate also. And there's also no... Uh, the, the only MCU character is is Loki. And he's not doing MCU stuff. The whole style of the show is an MCU feeling. I watched WandaVision. I actually liked WandaVision. WandaVision was a good show in my opinion. And Loki as well. I think I, think I like Loki more. Loki was really cool. Season one, we get introduced to Sylvie. The dynamic between Loki and Sylvie, Sylvie was really nice. I like that. Um, all the different variants, that was cool. One of my gripes was like, dude, this is Loki. He's a Norse god. When am I going to see him do some godly things? Like I remember in Avengers 1, when Loki comes in with the army and he's, I don't know, dude, he's just this larger than life figure. And then in this show, he's just a... He's just a guy who does magic tricks. He does. He pulls out fireworks from his palm and stuff. So I was waiting for that godly, you know, that godly Loki instead of that just little trickster. I mean, I know he's a trickster, but, um, and we do, dude, we get a payoff. There's spoilers in this, by the way. Um, we get a payoff in season two and holy cow, that, that was, that was awesome, man. As I, I was watching, as I was watching the finale of season two, I was thinking like, this needs to be on the big screen. I wish I was watching this on the big screen. When Loki is walking up the stairs, the horns are growing out, the costumes coming in, and then he sits on the throne and he pulls the threads, the strands of time together and he just holds him. That is such a that's like a Norse god, Greek god type of thing, like you know, like Atlas holding up the sky. Loki holding time. He's just sitting there holding time together that's so freaking cool and the whole reason loki was doing that because he was, he was essentially taking over uh the position for he who remains the whole introduction to he who remains i didn't really dude his character was corny dude his character was uh when we first saw him he was literally sitting up on the desk like l from death note and he was being all jumpy and spazzy like he was acting like some cheesy spazzy old wizard and he didn't look like that at all you know what i mean so that was weird it worked for the character of victor timely that i that felt better but that first introduction to he who remains it was like dude what are you what are you doing why are you acting like this it didn't it didn't feel like this this huge larger than life i mean he's he his name is he who remains he didn't act like a guy who was called he who remains, you know, someone who lives outside of time, this crazy, powerful guy, whatever. He didn't act like that. You know what I mean? So, um, 
but Victor Timely, I like Victor Timely. And then later on, we we see He Who Remains, Loki talking to He Who Remains, and uh, I liked him there. I liked him there in that scene because he was he he felt competent. He was a bit more serious, and uh, we saw what he could do. He you know, paused time, blip people out of out of the time temporarily and whatnot. Like that stuff, that was cool. I'm jumping all over the place with this one because it's not really a season one or season two review. I'm just my thoughts on the show in general. Dude, the whole thing where Loki sacrificed centuries to understand physics at the level of Ouroboros and Victor Timely, that was insane. That I mean, I know I know centuries isn't isn't much for him, but when it said centuries later and then Loki comes back like a physics genius, that was <laughs> that was awesome. Um, but speaking of Ouroboros, uh, what's the kid from Indy? Short, short round. <laughs> him seeing him was awesome. Uh, he was a real cool character. Him and uh, timely meeting together that was real cool. That whole loop with the TVA manual, I like that. I I, I got to mention Owen Wilson again. Owen Wilson, Owen Owen Wilson really brought the show up uh, a other a notch above the rest of the MCU in my opinion. I mean, everybody everybody in the show did that, but I feel like Owen Wilson was a very key element in that. Uh, Tom Hiddleston was also great in the show, but I liked it, dude. I liked it. If you guys have been checked out of the MCU and you're not really a big fan of where Marvel has been taking the MCU, watch Loki. Loki was good. The show did a lot of cool things. Sylvie hiding in apocalypses, um, that tree that Loki was in at the end when he was holding all the strands of time. I know that tree is really prominent in uh, Norse mythology, right? Because that's where all the realms are located within. That was cool. Um, just the, I'm, not, I'm being pretty vague, I guess, which is could be a good thing because I don't want to spoil too much. But even though I am spoiling stuff, because I do guys, I do want you guys to go and watch the show if you haven't watched it yet. Because I'm sure some of you have given up hope on on the MCU and have checked out just like me. But if you have, if you're one of those people, go check out Loki. I liked it, and I think you'll like it too. So let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. If you guys have watched Loki, let me know what you think. Did you like it? Did you not like it? And if you haven't seen it. Go check it out. Give it a try and let me know. And then come back and let me know what you thought because I thought it was cool. I thought I thought it was separate enough from the MCU where it didn't really feel like the MCU. The tone wasn't an MCU tone. There was no real cheesy jokes here and there. It felt like its own thing even though it had to do with Loki. And they really fleshed out the character of Loki. And dude, that ending was awesome. Um, I sort of spoiled the definitely spoiled the ending for you. But the whole journey along the way is definitely worth it. So if you haven't watched it, again, let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. And I'll see you all in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.